This is a brief demonstration of how to uh, do a search to produce a subset of a panel. There are many doctors in a clinic, each with their own panel. There are s some doctors that may have different types of work involved. And in this demonstration, we're going to show how to produce a list of nursing home patients. <clears throat> and this list can be then excluded from any counts related to the in-office panel. So to do a search, we need to go to settings on the top uh, toolbar and go to edit searches. The next step would be to add a search. And we have to give it a name, so we will give it a name, let's say 001, so it comes at the top. Now having given a name, we need to give it some search criteria. So there we need to add a line, uh, which is at the bottom of the bigger pa panel here. If we need to delete a line, we can do it there. And if we need to indent uh, when we have options or outdent, we can do it there. And if we have to change a line, the edit line is here uh, so that we can uh, alter it. Now we're going to add this line uh, from the demographics page. All patients in the panel that are billable are active. So they would have to be already defined as active. Patient status equals active from this drop down list and click OK to bring it across as part of the criteria to search with. We need to add another line and that is to look for the specific billing code. That code is selected by clicking on service code and that gives a panel at the uh, a record at the bottom here or a field at the bottom here to key it in. So let's do 03.03E and this is not case sensitive, so it's not that critical if you do the uppercase. Uh, but we need to tell it that it's been done at least once, so greater than or equal to 1. And we can say OK. And now we need to define which doctor we're looking at, or we can put a series of doctors in. But we'll just put one in for the moment, add a line. And doctor number is... number one. Okay, if we need to add another and uh, so that we can have an, a doctor number and an, an or, um, uh, we can go uh, add a line and doctor number where are we here, is let's say number two. This brings in another line. Uh, but it can't be both, so we have to then define this as an AND or OR. By doing that, we click on the AND and then switch it by going OR. And then if we click indent line, it makes it clearer to see that we're doing a, a series of selections in here. When this is done, we click Done, which will save it. But if we want to go on to perform the search, we can do one of, one of several things here. If we add a, a, a column, such as in the demographics, the street address, the street address here, here we are. <coughs> this will show us which nursing home the patient is in. And to make it clear that we retain privacy of individuals, we're going to remove the names. So we can remove the first name and if we double click on this and it gives us the ability to remove the name, we have street address here and then we can actually run the search and it will give us some names. It will also ask you if you want this to be a permanent uh, save for this one or a one-time change. So we're going to call it a one-time change and then it will go and do the search. So between Dr. Dragindra and I, we have 165 patients in extended care. If you want to make this a more useful document, you can actually click in the headings at the top of the columns and that will sort them for you.